Alright guys, we're back, and uh, we're picking up right where we left off last episode. Uh, we were talking about, we're going over kind of the uh, the Project Nevada stuff that you can do. So, let's see here. This might take up the rest of this episode, I don't know, I haven't messed around with a lot of this stuff. So, oh lord, I gotta stretch. Mm, strength based range. We're gonna leave that no. Project Nevada... What, wait, enables a dynamic throwing range multiplier for grenades, etc. No. We're gonna leave that off. Uh, so, damage in combat. Ooh, lord. Okay. Uh, player endurance multiplier. I don't know what that does. Vanilla is 20. So, let's put that back on 20. Um, NPC endurance multiplier. It's normally on... I'm, I'm just going to leave a lot of this stuff the same, actually. Um, damage threshold. Um, damage. Skill, damage, influence. It's normally on 50%, so but that, that sounds important. Limb damage transfer. I'll leave it on 75, I guess. Radiation gain. Uh, no, 100%. 100% except safe falling height gonna leave what can you a thousand no let's turn that to 600 because I think that's what it said vanilla was uh, auto or explosives enemy knockbacks yeah yeah uh, ringing sound effect yes weapon condition maximum damage penalty uh, let's leave that at 20. That sounds pretty, pretty nice number. Uh, auto aim. I'm not really gonna mess around with the auto aim that much. Uh, stealth and movement. Let's see here. Running multiplier is normally four. It only takes it down a little bit. Holstered multiplier. I uh, leave that the same. One leg crippled. Two legs crippled. Okay, I'll leave that the same. Sneak profile. I don't even know what this does. Uh, I guess we'll turn it to vanilla. Experimental detection AI. Uh, it's a no on vanilla as well, so we'll leave that there. Loot rarity. Spawn chance. Very common. Let's turn that back up to 100. Because that's what it is normally on. Um, 75 for this. Except Ammo. Spawn chance common no I'm gonna turn that up to 50 actually instead of 25 spawn chance it's on 50 normally so it's 51 I guess very spawn chance oh this is food okay spawn chance spawn chance spawn chance spawn chance let's turn that to 51 I guess I don't even know what the default is uh, uh, 26 I guess uh, miscellaneous let's see here primary needs food healing no survival based rates which is I don't even know what that is time scale sure karma messages yes sneak indicator yes dismemberment chance I'm gonna turn that up to 66 percent oh vanilla is a hundred oh no it's not it's 50 Okay. Explode chance. Leave that what Project Nevada has it as. Uh, alternate, uh, alternative repair system. I don't know what that means. I'm just going to leave it off. Death physics. Force multiplier. Let's leave that the same as well. Uh, adjustable HUD. This is where it gets pretty cool, actually. You can move all of this stuff around to wherever you want it on the screen, which I've always thought was really, really cool. Force HUD visible in... I don't know what this does. Um, radiation meter on. Bracket around the compass. See down there in the compass, it turns that little bracket off. Uh, bracket around that. Bracket around that. I'm going to leave all the brackets on. Move sneak meter. I'm going to leave that the same. Move compass. Yeah. I'm going to leave all that the same. Where it's at, because I'm used to it. Um, extra HUD. This gets pretty cool as well. 12 hour clock. Color coded values. Yes. 
uh, show primary needs as uh, absolute values. Um, this is, I think, this is all um, like the hardcore needs and the show primary needs are both hardcore stuff. General uh, show move, show clock definitely. Combat stats, I don't even know what that does. Show resists. It's like rad resistance. I'm not encumbrance definitely. Uh, show hardcore needs. I'm not in hardcore, so I don't really need it. Show rads. Yes. Uh, show fatigue as well. Yes. I'm just going to leave those all in the same spot. I think they look pretty good right there. Immersive HUD. Let's see what this does. Oh, Lord. I don't even know what this stuff does. Oh. Um, compass. Actually, is it, I'm going to leave that to always on. Action points. Um, activate on combat, activate when using action points. Uh, ammo, I'm going to have that when weapon is out. And crosshair, um, while in combat, uh, when weapon is out, right mouse, and activate on target. Fade away. What can you turn it 20 seconds? Now I'm going to put that on 5 seconds, except. Oh, Lord. Uh, clock. I'm going to leave the clock always on as well. Combat. This is the iHUD extra HUD. I don't know what this does. Encumbrance. I'm going to leave that always on as well. Rads. Always on. Fatigue. Always on. Uh, combat. Always on. I know what this is now. Okay. Other mods. Project Nevada General. Always on. Crosshair, always on. Well, no, on, while in combat, weapon is out of right mouse. Advanced recon, I don't know if this is done. Uh, acquires the advanced recon thermal night vision mod. Okay. Weapon stat viewer. Um, rounds per minute and rounds per second. Rounds per minute. Rounds per minute. RPM, that's what I'm used to. Stat viewer hotkey, I'm going to have that as you, because that's what I usually have it as. Uh, back, and then continue. And let's let's move on here with my, like, 24 frames. You're on. Go give them hell. Oh, don't tell me I get really low frames when there's enemies. Control, am I crouched already? Yes, I am. Where are they at, exactly? I'm actually going to switch to that, um, uh, my varmint rifle. Because I can. S oh, they're coming. Oh, well, okay. One, one, one. Okay. Now we're going to go in guns and blazing. Let's see what they had on them. I'm gonna take their meat. Take his meat. Um. Let's see what's going on here. Is that all we needed to do? Do I need to come back to you and tell you that I just did that, even though you could clearly see me doing it? I don't know what this does. Oh. Those are my throwing spears. I can hold down G and throw them. Oh, I just threw them See? into the ground. You're getting the hang of it. Thought There's you could pick that back up. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Um. Yeah. Sure. I'll finish the tutorial. Minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Okay. Yeah, I might as well do it. It's not that big of a deal. Let's draw this M4 as well. I know how to enter VATS, I'm not fucking stupid. Yeah, VATS. 2% accuracy from this range? Yeah. Return this right mouse button. Come on. Come on. I'm just gonna see. <laughs> she handles herself pretty well. 
Is that all we need? Oh, there's a woman down here I forgot that needs to be saved. Where you at, woman? I do remember this. I'm gonna go into vats and help her. Well, no, I'm not gonna make any shots from down here. Boop. 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 Boop, I guess. Boop. E. Bang. Oh my god. Okay, I just annihilated those. Okay, hello, woman. You're a good spring settler. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you've done, I'd be a goner for sure. Yeah, I know. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Thanks. Folks, accept me now. Reputation. Uh, I'll, I will actually read this for you guys. You have established a, re a relationship with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody, and people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland, and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions with the uh, that benefit a group, you will gain fame. If you perform actions that harm a group, you will gain infamy. Um, your reputation with any given group is a measure of that combined total of fame and infamy that you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depend on the group itself. You may receive discounts with merchants, provoke attacks from hired thugs, or simply be treated differently. Um, though you will initially start out with good na with a with a natural neutral not natural neutral reputation with any given faction, your fame and infamy will eventually push your reputation in different directions. You can see all of your current reputations on the general section of your pit boy. Okay. Good reputation. Smiling troublemaker. Some good, a little bad. Good natured rascal. Good, a little bad. Accepted. Some good. Liked. Definitely good. And idolized. Most good. Mixed reputations are soft hearted devil. More bad than good. Dark hero. More good than bad. Mixed. Some good, some bad unpredictable good and bad wild child most good most bad I don't see how that works bad reputations sneering punk some good a little bad merciful thug bad a little good shunned some bad hated definitely bad and vivified most bad okay and the good springs are accepted folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature thank you woman thank you. okay do I need to talk to you? Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Thank One you. More thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, actually I am. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Alrighty. Um, let's do this. Um, actually, I'm going to cut down on travel time here and accept this, accept this quest? No, accept the fact that I need to fast travel. So, and that, guys, is my timer. I'm trying to shut it up. Um, that's my timer, so... I guess I'm going to end the video there. What is going on here? Um, I guess we'll find out next episode, guys. Um, yeah, see you then. Peace.